Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be going over the procedure for setting up port trunking on an ingenious ECS 1112 FP 8 port managed switch using LACP. So, this switch was provided to me by Ingenious, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful, I'll put a link in the description of this switch on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So, LACP is the Link Aggregation Control Protocol. So, what this is going to allow us to do is it's going to give us greater bandwidth and then redundancy also. So, what we'll be doing is I have a Synology. NAS here and I have the ingenious switch and normally you would connect these with one ethernet cable but I'll be connecting this with two ethernet cables and I'll be enabling LACP. So the first thing I'm going to do is on my Synology NAS since I'm going to be messing with the network interface what I've done is I plugged in a USB Wi-Fi adapter and this is an optional step but this will give me an extra interface to get to the Synology NAS just in case something gets screwed up. Now obviously you don't want to do this during a peak time of usage like if this is for a business you wouldn't want to do it during business hours. You also want to make sure you have a current backup just in case something goes wrong and if for some reason you do lock yourself out of the network you can Google on a procedure to reset the network. So I'm logged into the Synology NAS. If I open up the control panel and you want to make sure you're in the advanced mode you'll find this wireless icon and then I'll click on Wi-Fi here. I'll click on on the wireless one, I'll say set up wireless network. And I'm using an older, really cheap USB Wi-Fi adapter. It's like an AirLink. It's not really available anymore, but you can try different types. You can Google which ones are compatible. So I'm going to choose the wireless network I want. I'll hit next. I'll type in the wireless password. I'll hit apply. So it says connected. I'll look at the details here. I'll get the IP address. What I'll do is I'll take this IP address and I'll put it in my address bar. So it says the connection's not private, it's because I have a self-signed certificate, so I'll accept this. And now I'm logged into the interface using that wireless adapter. So this is an optional step. You can configure the network configuration without doing this, but it gives you kind of a little backup. So I'm going to go into the ingenious switch. On the left, I'm in the L2 feature section, and under link aggregation, I want to click on port trunking. It says port trunking group one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want to click on the little pencil here for edit. I want to click on mode, set it to LACP, click on member ports, and I have this hooked up to seven and eight. So I'll hit confirm here. I'll hit the little check mark, and that will save. Now I'll go into the Synology NAS, click on control panel. So I'm getting a little bit of a delay here. I'm not sure what's going on. So that Wi-Fi adapter I'm using isn't very good. I'm going to try a different one. So as you can see, I've made this change on my switch here, but it hasn't broken my connection to the Synology NAS on the Ethernet port, which is 192.168.7.2. Okay, so I'm in on the Wi-Fi interface again, and I'm using a little bit better adapter now. So I'll click on Control Panel. I'll click on network, I'll click on network interface, and I already have a bonded interface set up here. But this isn't using LACP because the switch I had it connected to did not support that. So here I'll hit edit, and we have the link aggregation mode, and I want to choose the second one here, which says balance TCP. Previous one was balance SLB, and that's source load balancing. The second option, balance TCP, uses LACP, so that's a little bit more robust. So I'll hit okay down here, And I have this set up to use a static IP address, so it should get the same IP address. Now where you could run into problems if you have this set up for DHCP, that could screw up your IP address and you could get a different IP address. And that's one thing that's nice about having this Wi-Fi interface is that that won't happen to me. Okay, so it says connected here. So I'll open up another web page. I'll make sure I can get into that. There we go, it's looking good. So now I can go in here and I can get rid of my wireless interface. So I'll just remove that. and I can unplug the adapter now. So back on the switch, if I go to the left where it says system, if I click on that and click on port settings, and if I scroll down here to trunk one, you can see it says link up and it says auto one gig full. So that means we have it set up. So let's do some testing here. I'll open up a terminal. I'll ping that address of the Synology NAS, and I'm going to go unplug the ethernet jacks, and we'll see what happens to the ping here. Okay, so I have one of them unplugged, and you can see there was a request timeout, but then it got right back up. I've plugged that back in, so it looks like we had one request timeout there. I'll unplug the other Ethernet port. Okay, that's unplugged, and it doesn't seem like it missed any pings there. So I'll go plug that back in. 
and didn't miss any, well there it did miss a ping there. So now both of them are operating. So doing it this way gives you some redundancy. It's also supposed to help with speed. So I have a number of devices connecting into this and I don't know if it's even maxing out that gigabit ethernet, but now it should be even more robust in that regard. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.